In this section's activity, we will expose an API using Boomi's API proxy component. The API proxy component is a deployable component that allows for the direct proxying of a request through an API gateway to a service that is not served through an Atom, Molecule, or Atom Cloud. You can deploy an API proxy component to an environment where an API gateway is assigned. In this activity, we'll create the API component to a proxy an API that we built in a previous activity, the calculator service from SOAP that we converted to REST. We'll deploy the API proxy later in the course when we work with local atoms, brokers, and gateways. Now, if you would like to experiment by ingesting other APIs into the API proxy component, we do have an example in the activity guide that we recommend. So I'll begin by setting up a new folder here under API, Section 7, Proxy. Now in that folder, I'll create a new component, API. This time, I'll select the API type of Proxy. We're going to call this calculator proxy. Now we need to import the Swagger file, which is in the API management section of Atomsphere. So what I'll do, I'll open API management on another browser tab. Come here to the SOAP in Boomi API service, click View, REST, and here is a link to that Swagger reference. I'll copy that and now import Swagger file from a URL. Make sure that you remove any white space that might result from that copy. This is also looking for a username and password, which are found under the shared web server settings. So I've copied this Swagger reference, and I'm gonna paste that into a text editor. There's a lot of copying and pasting to be done in this section. Now, we're also going to need our username and password from the production Atoms shared web server settings. So I'm going to copy that, the username, and also the password, putting all of these into a text editor like Notepad++. Now I can come back to the Build tab into the API proxy component and import the Swagger file. I'll import from the URL and then also enter my username and my password from the Production Atoms shared web server settings. Now we can accept all the defaults here on the summary window. Click Finish. Uh, if I scroll down to the base API path, I'm going to enter here proxy calculator version 1. And the API type here is, of course, REST. Now, under the server tab, there's a little bit more for us to do. We have the API server URL. The authentication type, though, will select basic. And once again, we're going to enter the username and password from the shared web server settings. Make sure there's no white space from that copy. And with that entered, we have now built the API proxy. As I said at the beginning, we'll deploy this later when we set up a local atom, broker, and gateway. 
And then we'll be able to test the API proxy using the developer portal. For now, I will save and close. This video concludes now, but you can follow the steps in the activity guide to complete the activity. And that activity guide is accessible through Boomi's LMS.